Well, I am standing in front of one of our two rosy gold trees. As you can tell, it's looking rather healthy and we've got, you know, some two and a half inch mangoes and then we have some little mangoes. Now, rosy gold is a fairly small tree, uh, but the reason a lot of people plant it is that it a lot of times will give very early fruit, uh, often in March. Uh, this particular tree has not given us fruit that early, but I know a lot of our customers do get early fruit. Uh, of course, it's sweet and fiberless, and so we have a lot of things going for rosy gold. So anyway, in this light, uh, we were looking at the fruit, and out of all the fruit that are on the tree, there's one that doesn't look right, and that is this one right here. So you might be wondering, what's going on with that fruit? Well, this particular pattern of damage is very typical of boron deficiency. And boron is one of those, those uh, nutrients, it's a trace mineral that you only need really small amounts of, but trees definitely benefit from some boron. So it's sort of the um, three bears situation. You don't want too much boron and you don't want not enough boron, you want it just right. So uh, this particular product is what we use on most of our trees around the grove. Uh, Bruxel Multi, uh, this is not an advertisement for them, but just an information thing. Uh, it does contain boron and it's one half of 1% is boron. So you really don't need a lot. Years ago, I uh, was using a fertilizer that only some of the fertilizer um, components were time release. And unfortunately, one of those components was bor one, one that was not time release was boron. And I made the mistake of putting that fertilizer on some potted plants. And I was successful at killing those plants. Uh, so boron is something that you have to try to get it just right. When you are using a product like Brexel Multi, you follow the directions and you know there's no problem. You won't overdose your tree on boron. Uh, we also have a granular fertilizer that everything is time release and has boron in it. Uh, so be careful with boron but try to make sure your plants have some boron uh, and you won't run into this particular problem.